Morning, President Muhammad Dwarisa. I salute you in the name of the Almighty God, who is supreme in the affairs of men, kingdoms, and nations. How are you, sir? Do you want the killings, the insecurity, the uh, kidnappings, the poverty, the, the violence in this country, Nigeria, to end? Listen to me then, sir. Because I know, by the grace of God, the pivotal remedy to the lingering social economic plagues and trauma in Nigeria. A secret, and I want to help you so you can help Nigerians out of this bottomless pit of hopelessness and despair. But first, I need you to acknowledge that whatever might have prompted um, a well-trained and disciplined paramilitary officer to break the ethics of his profession just to speak to you must be something that demands your personal attention as a matter of urgency. On that note, sir, please permit me to humbly introduce myself to you. My name is Martin Aliche, Deputy Superintendent of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, serving in Lagos. I am, by special grace, the officer who encountered God on top of that Asarok overlooking Nigeria's seat of power there in Abuja. Where, after three days and nights alone up there, God Almighty spoke to me clearly and established a covenant of peace, unity, security, and prosperity with Nigeria. And God constituted this covenant on one condition on a standing order that Nigeria must not stand against Israel, otherwise he will scatter Nigeria. After which he commanded me to go down from that rock to speak and warn the leaders of Nigeria. And I spoke to President, former President Gulag Jonathan in 2013-14 and he obeyed the voice of God as his strength could carry him. I spoke to you also in 2015 and throughout 2016 but you broke God's covenant by standing against the nation of Israel and as a result plagues of socio-economic trauma poverty, killings, insecurity were unleashed upon Nigeria and without missing words I am here in the name of the Almighty God to warn you one more time and to offer you a last chance to save yourself and the people of this country from the fearful judgment God has pronounced against Nigeria because of his covenant which you broke but before I proceed sir I would like to refresh your memory and to give you an idea of what I am talking about by replaying the first video message I delivered to you on this same matter in 2016 about the plague of socio-economic trauma and what awaits Nigeria. You have broken God's covenant for the peace, unity and prosperity with Nigeria by taking it upon yourself to meddle in the dispute between Israel and the Arabs in defiance of God's warnings. Was good luck, Jonathan, your predecessor foolish, you have obeyed this voice of God concerning this matter. Now, therefore, prepare. As Almighty God, who spoke to me concerning this matter on top of that Asherah place, this current wave and plague of social economic trauma shall be followed by the plague of geopolitical effort in Nigeria. And I warned you that you could disobey God's order and twist the long arm of the law, but you cannot disobey God's order and escape the strong arm of his wrath. Therefore, humble yourself now before God, President Muhammad Borisa, and heed my counsel so that it might be well with you 
and this country Nigeria. One, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. Quickly move Nigeria embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. But if that is too difficult for you to do, then disentangle Nigeria from the controversy between Israel and the people of Palestine. Just as Gulag Jonathan wisely did at the United Nations on December 31st, 2014, by abstaining from voting for or against Israel, number two cancel, declare October 28th a yearly national day of prayer for Nigeria to renew and honor the covenant of peace, unity, security, and prosperity God made with Nigeria on top of that Asurok on October 28, 2011. If you know the Spirit speaking to you, you will hasten to obey His voice. Ask for me additional about the letter titled Wind of His Archangel. Ask for me also about the text message you got one Sunday morning in the middle of 2017 that said God can bring the dead back to life. God spared your life in 2017. In conclusion, I want to say I love you and I love as I love every other Nigerian. And I have brought this all important message to you at the cost of my job. Thank you for listening. So. Vice President uh, Yemi Osimbajo. Present circumstance demands that I break all necessary protocol to humbly speak to you directly and immediately before this country, Nigeria, breaks in pieces. My name is Martin Aliche. I am, by special grace, the officer who encountered God on top of that Asurok overlooking Nigeria's seat of power in Abu Dhabi. Sir, so I am of the opinion that you know there is a God, a supreme God that rules supreme in the affairs of men, kingdoms and nations. I know that you know that the spiritual controls the physical. And more so by your vast knowledge of the Holy Scriptures, you understand what it means for God to summon an ordinary man to a mountain, and not just any mountain, but to the top of that Asurok overlooking the nation's seat of power, and to keep the man waiting in prayer and fasting three days and nights alone up there on top of that rock, and then finally speak to the man, giving a particular message in a most unique dream experience whereby God gave a particular message three times in three separate dreams in one single night saying the same thing in each of those separate dreams Nigeria must not stand against Israel otherwise I will scatter Nigeria only to finally add go down and speak to the leaders of Nigeria at the end of the third dream. I am only doing this because the Almighty God has mandated me to. I am only doing this because of, out of compassion for the innocent Nigerians who are suffering and perishing like flies on a daily basis in this country. With the situation of things 
in Nigeria today, the only thing that can save this country is divine intervention from God Almighty. But there can never be any divine intervention without obedience to divine instruction. By reason of this very video you are watching now, I've already laid down my uniform as a witness against you, against President Muhammad Buhari, against the government of Nigeria, and against the whole land, that my obedience to the voice of God that mandated me to go down from that rock and speak to the leaders of this country is complete. And there is only one thing left, which is the immediate execution of the divine judgment God pronounced with his own mouth against Nigeria. Thank you for listening, sir.